Welcome back to Let's Play Dead Island. I'm Burning Dogface. And we're reporting back to Bob after successfully saving Frank from the zombies. You made it! Frank found a way to turn Oleandersap into a poison that can shut down the central nervous systems of the infected. I like the sound of that. Temporarily. Hey, booze. Find a lot of that in here, actually. Not bad. Sounds like a zombie orgy outside. Which is just about the worst, most unpleasant image I can possibly imagine, so don't do that. It's like this old POS up the hill. I don't know you guys, but this thing really, really reminds me of, uh... Oh. Okay, going up the hill. This thing really, really reminds me of the Jeeps from Jurassic Park. Oh dear. Burning zombies. really is an aggressively unpleasant sound. I can sell that to Joel. <laughs> Looks like I ran his head over. It's a weird thing to laugh at. Close enough. Ha! Ah! Natives in this area. That is just people who just kind of lived here, you know, like Matu Taro and company. Okay, get ready. I'm gonna open the gate for you. Kind of forgot Will was going to be doing that, so that startled the shit out of me. Oh no! It's almost like I played him like a guitar. I don't think I'll be trying that one again. Any of the Burning Dog fans ever had birch beer? It's a soft drink they serve okay. in Newfoundland. You should be able to see the warehouse. <laughs> pink in color, and I believe it's called that because it's made from birch bark. Well, fuck all y'all. Hey, maybe I'll stay up here. Isn't good, and that thing no longer kills them in one hit. Hey, that 
face. Okay. Hello. And Liam Neeson and not give up just because I electrocuted him. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that was not a good time. <coughs> Sorry, not caught me by surprise. That was not a good time for the frame rate to dip. This is gonna sound weird, but I like the way the foliage moves in this game. The way it dances in the wind. Ah, at least the trees aren't trying to kill me. Yet. Who knows, there could be murderous tree ants in my future. But somehow, uh... <laughs> I don't see it happening for a while. There's clearly a... oh, there's a door here. Right. You piece of shit. Get switched to the booze. Unfortunate. Okay, this is gonna suck. Not that, I meant fighting the dude. Wait, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh boy, here we go. Ah! I made him puke! Ah! Ha ha ha! They wear masks. I cover their faces. Uh... Oh, hey. Okay. We hit some kind of animal, and the car careened off the road and down an embankment uh, through the trees. The driver, my driver, is badly hurt. I think his leg is broken. Wait, I'm under uh. something else too. What the fuck is that? Something's coming. God, it's something big. Oh my god. An orangutan. Oh fuck. It's Jesus Christ. It's infected. It's the animal we hit. It should be dead. Why the fuck isn't it? Now this is interesting, it looks like the ram beat all these zombies to death. They aren't even touched. I mean, maybe they were eating this, and then he came in and just clobbered them all. Because he has no hands to rip and tear, and his mouth is covered so he can't bite. He just genuinely enjoys murdering people. There's nothing in about in spreading the virus involved in that. Of course, I get the dramatic entrance into this. Oh, I forgot to check the uh, what the Bloody Mary mod does. There's so many goddamn mods. The Bloody Mary mod. Considering the circumstances we found ourselves in, we have to cope with whatever we can. Thus, I decided to devise the most effective weapon I could I could make from the parts I had handy. The result of my efforts is a metal club wrapped in a, into a barbed wire and a couple other gadgets so thoughtfully that every poor bastard that finds himself in the business end of it is literally pissing blood. Details below. Huh. 
the bodily harm mod. Provided you manage to combine everything as shown in the instruction, you will receive a homemade electric club, which makes it a better model when compared to its commercial version, and it comes equipped with additional features. First, you need to find a piece of wooden rod, and then follow the description below. The Maori are the indigenous people of New Zealand. They are well known for their permanent face and body markings called Tamuka. Hell, we're taking a look. Okay, now, take it to the generator. Go. Down the hill. Would any other members of the peanut gallery like to mess with me? Where in the hell did you come from? I thought I closed the door. Oh. Good, the actual stuff starts over here. Back in business. Oh, hey. I wonder if they'll even buy this. Okay, let's go that way after all. Normally I don't think that's a good suggestion, but... Uh, I don't like that sound. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. And I'm all the way over here. Oh well. Put that over a cheaper is good. Blown to chunks. What exactly are you checking out over here? A painted on door. Wouldn't it be funny if there was a switch that just turned all the zombies off? Eh, yeah, fuck it. Excuse me. Man! Run, move out of the way. You done? Never mind. I'll be the judge of that, and I say you're done. Not to self, Maori are fireproof. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. I like the sounds of that. Huh. Maybe there's something I can use. Nikola Tesla was an awesome dude. Oh, I'm not heading back. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good sign that your fuse is done. No comments on the peanut gallery? Hey, sweet bullets. Oh. Nice. Everything is up and running. All right. Now get your asses out of there, because the noise has attracted the infected and they're coming from everywhere. I repeat, they're coming from everywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Shit. 
Let's do this. Okay. See you there. Well, that was incredible. I love the exploding sound effect. Really, that was them coming from everywhere? I was expecting dudes of all types coming out of the woodwork. Uh... Why wasn't R working? It's off. Oh shit! I hate those guys. Oh, this is more like it. Wow, the both of his hands. I should take those with me. You know, just in case. Sometimes you get a craving that only hands can feed. Can one of them eat a floater? Well, let's get out of here. Actually. It's drinking time! I should really get back. I'm running out of time. Leave the safety, <laughs> the obvious safety of that cage and go charging drunkly back to the. Oh, hey, that was a bad idea. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, no, not fire. Electricity. Yes! Fuck yeah, elemental advantage. That's three in a row. And as the commercial suggests, I'm going to go for one more. Ugh. Thanks for playing! You are a thick boy, weren't you? Look at those legs! Oh. It didn't burn any of him away, it just darkened him. Weird. Let's get the fuck out of here. No, no, no. You stay down, I insist. I'm kinda of surprised they didn't make up a name. Actually, I suppose 
Well, maybe these aren't the Maori. Maybe they're just talking about the real world Maori in Papua New Guinea. With the size of this man's pants! That's a bad sign. I probably just forgot to close it. Hey, Big Willie style. Thank you. Seriously. You may have just saved us all. Hey, if you need shells for the shotgun, please help yourselves. Talk to Dr. West. I think he might have discovered something. Hey, shock rifle. Well, what do we got here? Oops, I hope you didn't need that computer to look at the, uh... What is that, an old air conditioning filter? Well... Man... I'm burning dog face. Hey, the misery wagon. Good times. Oh, wow, yeah. The very first quest. Find a weapon. I had that ore for the longest time, as I recall. I might be wrong. Whatever. I'm Burning Dog Phase, and this has been Let's Play Dead Island. I'll just read up on these mods, and then we'll be gone. Next time, we'll find out what Dr. West has in store for us. The Tesla mod! Do you happen to have a useless phone on you? If not, get one. A sledgehammer and some other things, and assemble them all together. The weapon you'll get will literally toss your enemies into the air. Only I don't have steam in these hands of yours to make a meaningful swing with it. What a dick. Shock rifle mod. I made something up that I don't have a name for yet. Maybe an electric rifle? I don't know about that. I'm getting to the point. A weapon modified this way is capable of electrocuting and capable of dealing the usual damage. I strongly advise to make use of it if you want to deal with the zombie plague more effectively. Devastating home run mod. A baseball bat with a hint of blades and barbed wire is a simple and cost-effective way to increase the chances of survival in a battle against the living dead. Just because their bodies are rotting doesn't mean they can't bleed, right? And when treated to the bat such as this, they will bleed, rest assured. I don't think I've ever even seen a metal baseball bat. Ah well. I'm going to fix my stuff and then uh, talk to Joel, but I'll see you guys next time.